All right, same dirt, one wet, one dry, and the qualities are very apparent because this one behaves when it's dry almost like a rock, breaks apart in angular faces. It's hard to crush between your fingers, doesn't go to dust, isn't friable. So those are all good signs. That means it's good building soil. And then when it gets wet, this stuff has had the, the it's been watered for a while. It makes very pliable material, which with a little more water will make a nice snake. So this is almost like pottery clay. And if you end up with something like this, you can build with it. And the test, after you knead it adequately and break up any little chunks and get enough moisture into it, Right? The test is to see if you can roll it into a snake and bend it like that. It just starts to crack. There's an almost, there's a circular bend, no cracking, right? If it, if it, uh, if it cracks, add, try adding a little water because um, the amount of water is critical too. But this is, this is great stuff. You build a whole house with it. And there's enough dirt in that foundation to more than build your oven. So, local materials are best. The snake rolling depends on water. You gotta have enough water in the clay to, to do the snake test. And if, if you have enough water and it's not clay, it'll still crack. If you don't have enough water and it is clay, it might crack. So make sure you get enough water in there and then try the snake test. Now that that's just a, a, a crack from badly, um, not well homogenized material. And it dries out really fast, a couple of rolls, and it'll take a lot of water out. So, but there you go, right? I can, I can make pottery with this stuff. The other uh, indication of good clay is that it sticks to your hand, right? And it doesn't want to come off. And that, that's a sign that you have clay. 